Hey everybody, Jem Schofield here with the C47, and today I am standing here with the Canon Cinema EOS C200B. And I'm really excited about this because I've been getting a lot of questions about whether or not I'm going to be doing a series for Canon on the C200 and the 200B. And the answer is yes, and I'm actually shooting that series in LA next week. And unlike most times that I shoot these educational videos for Canon where we're in pre-production cameras or there's only one unit available, they were actually able to send me a camera system a few days ahead of time. Now I'm leaving on Sunday and this is Friday, so it's only a couple of days, but I will have time to go through the menus and sort of learn a little bit more about what this camera is all about. Now the B version of this camera does not have an electronic viewfinder. It's basically just the body itself and then you add things like the LCD, you add the grip unit. And I just thought I'd shoot a tiny little video here to talk about some of the things that I'm seeing in the camera that I like a lot. Number one, um, and it may seem like a small thing, is right here, which is the shock mount for the microphone. It is a well-built, incredibly sturdy shock mount, and I don't have to build it up with Velcro or gaff tape in order for a microphone to fit in there. So they've finally licked that problem, and I have a standard shock mount that I don't have to modify if I just want to have a run and gun boom on the camera. The second thing that I absolutely love is this LCD screen. I hope, I wish that they allow this and can figure out how to make this compatible with the C300 Mark II. Um, it is very, very sturdy. It's incredibly easy to switch where it's sitting here and you can mount it to multiple places on the camera system. I think it's pretty fantastic and I'm very, very excited about this LCD screen and the quality of the picture that I'm seeing with it. Now, the next thing that I really like about this thing is the actual handle on the camera system. And this, this was a problem, if you want to call it a problem, that was solved with the C300 Mark II and we now see this type of handle here. Now this is an exploded version of a camera body that you might see from our C100 and C100 Mark II, but it's still relatively small. And I'm just gonna circle back to the audio thing here. Right here are your audio controls, and what they've done is they've taken a signable button nine on this camera, and by pressing that, it immediately gives me my audio status. Now, of course, I can assign that button differently, but I really, really like this because not only can I see on two different pages what my audio status is, I can press the set button or the joystick in and I can access immediately all of my audio controls within the menu system. And if I step back out of that again, I'm just going to go back to audio status. I can also see how everything is being routed in terms of my audio control. So right now I just have one boom mic that's plugged into the C200B and I'm routing that to my first channel. I'm routing it to my second channel at a different level as a safety and it's also going to channel three with automatic gain control. So there's so many little options in here with the audio controls in the camera. So I'm pretty excited about that functionality. Dual pixel CMOS AF from everything that I'm seeing is fantastic. And the fact that I now have a touch screen to use with that is gonna make it a lot easier for somebody like me to create content. Now, there are a lot of questions about this camera in terms of the recording formats. All of that data is online. Of course, if you're recording to the internal MP, well, to the SD cards in MP4, it is an 8-bit UHD recording, but there is over here this CFast 2.0 slot, and with this we can record Cinema Raw Light. So there's a lot of possibilities in terms of what you can do with that. All in all, I'm loving the build quality of this camera system. I'm loving the layout, the fact that they've now moved the XLR inputs right onto the body of the camera makes me very, very excited because now if I want to, especially with something like the C200, which has the built-in EVF, I can actually run and gun 
with just the camera body and my microphones and the EVF if I want to. And then I can use this monitor or a different monitor when I'm in production. So there you go. Just some initial thoughts about the C200 and the C200B. Thanks for watching.